Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. As you can see, AMD actually sent over a couple of their new RX 6000 GPUs, so a thanks for that. And I will say before we get started that I'm going to have a couple affiliate links down in the description for when these are released. They won't cost you anything more and it helps the channel out. Anyway, I don't typically do unboxing videos, but this launch is really special for actually a few reasons. First up, it's because it marks the time where AMD, for the first time in quite a long time, is able to take the performance crown. Now, some of you might say that it's more of a tie, but to be honest, at $500 less, I'd call it a win. The second reason is actually right here. AMD has finally gotten away from their blower design and is using a typical two-fan design shroud. Now, as I've said many times in the past, at least in my opinion, the reason why AMD always did this is so they could focus on design over performance and leave the performance factor to the AIB cards. But of course, with the RTX 2000 series, Nvidia went ahead and got away from their blower design, and now AMD is doing the same. Now, just like the 2000 series and the 6000 series sharing similarities, AMD is now offering hardware ray tracing. So this is a big launch for AMD, so I am really excited and thought I would at least give you a glimpse at what the GPUs look like. So, let's actually get started. First up, let's see. Okay, first up, let's just look at uh, box design. We have the XT variant and the non-XT variant. And just like the 5000 series, the XT variant comes in this super nice, unique box. While the non-XT variant, still a nice box, don't get me wrong, but nothing extremely special or anything like that. So let's go ahead and start out with the XT model. And let's do this for one. The box is magnetic, has a really cool opening. It initially invites you, welcome to the red team, <laughs> looks really slick. And then they have this uh, insert with a really, uh, it's it, just a nice image. But anyway, uncompromised 4K gaming, 16 gigabytes memory, PCI Express 4.0 ready. And then we open that up, have a little uh, card here, a little uh, QR code. Um, just to take it to their website and uh, it actually just, it takes you to the manual for it. So we have that, but of course the thing we've all been wanting to see, and I have got to say that I was genuinely genuine. Let's try and get this out of here. Genuinely surprised by this. Um, it looks really good it looks way better than i thought it would it looks way better than um like the renders in my opinion um the the fans the way that they have them recessed in it to where it's flush i mean i know most are more or less flush but just the way they do it it looks really really cool um you have the r for radeon of course and it is a uh double um uh, double slot and it comes with a let's see I'll show you right here if you can see it it comes with a USB-C HDMI and then two display ports so pretty typical layout there at least for newer graphics cards it does have this red line and I will go ahead and say unfortunately the uh, LED which I say unfortunately but at the same time um with the fact that it has this, you know, red accenting on it anyway, it would make no sense to be any other kind of color except for maybe white, but it is red. Um, you can't change that or anything like that. You can also see that it has the two um, eight pin power connectors. They did not go with some new 12 pin. I, I do get that it's smaller, but it's not that much. I mean, it is significantly smaller, but I really don't get why Nvidia did it. I know that some cheaper power supplies uh, basically don't, whenever they have two connectors, they kind of sap power from one. So it can definitely cause a major issue when it tries to pull, you know, anywhere near 300 Watts. So I know that's a thing, but at the same time, now that two eight pin is really becoming pretty normal, especially for higher end, I would assume that power supplies will, you know, make you more aware of this. But anyway, enough of <laughs> enough of that. I know I can kind of ramble. You can see the back here. It is a uh, silver and it does have the R here. Um, let's see. 
it genuinely is a nice looking card. We have this right here. So I mean, and and this plastic, um, it's really nice. It's 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 definitely a premium plastic. It, it almost has a rubbery feel to it. Um, um, so let's move on. Let me. Um, let's see. Okay, so now we have the non XT model, and let's check this out. Okay, so it's still a very nice layout in here. It still has that really slick looking, um, just little piece that goes on top. It's not as thick as the other with some really nice foam inserts. Um, says the same thing 16 gigabytes of memory, uncompromised 4K gaming. And let's check this out. Okay. Very nice card. Once again, dual, uh, dual eight pin connectors. This almost looks like it's like a white LED and the actual, so it isn't an actual red coming through. I, I don't know. I don't know why that's the, the clear part is actually red versus white like the other. Um, but let's see, let me move this. Yeah, it's super similar. One of the only differences, honestly, is uh, the reflective part right here is smaller. Um, but at first glance, it's nearly identical to the XT model. Um, it has the same ports on it, USB-C, two display ports, and an HDMI port. So yeah, really, really similar. Once again, two 8-pin power connectors. It has the red accent line up here. A really nice card. I mean, both of them look just sweet. I'm not a huge fan of the back, the way it looks. It kind of looks uh, like when I had it in the test bench, it kind of looked slightly cheapy. I don't know why, though. I mean, this is metal. Uh, the plastic is really nice. But honestly, other than that one, just not even remotely a complaint, especially if uh, like if you have it in your system like this. It's going to look gorgeous. Unfortunately, the only issue is that you do need to have a red system. And that's the only thing that I hate about NVIDIA and uh, AMD keeping with their colors on their graphics cards. Um, you either have a green system or a red system or you don't use AIB or, or you use, uh, you know, board partner cards. So but of course, that's at least one reason why they're here. Fans are really nice. Setup is nice. I, I, I really think this is one of the nicest looking AMD cards to date. And it should, I can't say yay or nay, but it should perform significantly better. Oh, and I also said it was a dual fan. It is triple fan. No clue why I said that. Um, uh, so correcting that now. But anyway, I do hope you liked the video. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.